Driver shortage problem is not a new issue for the freight industry, but FTA members have been telling the association that this is a longer term problem than just for Christmas. Telling us more about the situation and hopefully how to solve it is FTA's Managing Director of Policy and Membership, James Hookham. James, this has been an issue actually for a long time for the industry, hasn't it? Yes, it is. And, and we've been thinking hard about this uh, through the latter half of 2014 uh, because a lot of our members were telling us that Christmas was going to be very difficult. Uh, but this is something we've got to face up to as being a long term problem. And so our driver crisis summit on the 12th of March at the Rico Arena in Coventry is our big statement and big opportunity to try to address this. Our members uh, have really been showing their voice about and actually showing their concerns regarding driver shortage for a long time. But it's culminated for various reasons, hasn't it? Well, yes, there have been a number of factors that particularly brought it to a head towards the end of 2014. Um, the good news was that the economy was uh, ticking up and uh, that was good news for all of us. But it did mean there were more goods to be moved, more vehicles on the road and therefore more drivers needed. Um, there was big expectations about Christmas. Retailers were looking to have a good Christmas and most of them did. Um, but again, that was more goods into warehouses. And of course, with promotions like Black Friday uh, and the big, big growth in internet shopping, that required different kinds of drivers, van drivers in particular, that uh, we, we weren't uh, um, looking for before, uh, but are certainly in demand now. And all of this combined with a perfect storm, together with the introduction of the driver CPC deadline back in September, just brought this issue to a head over Christmas 2014. Almost a victim of their own success as far as the freight industry is concerned. But here we are now in 2015, and rather than just complaining about it, it's time actually to try and solve it, isn't it? That's right, and that's what our event at the Rico Arena on the 12th of March is all about. We know we've got a problem, so during the course of one day, delegates will get to see a range of speakers who will give them advice, uh, the benefit of their experience, um, and actually telling them what to do to try to improve their success in uh, attracting and recruiting drivers and hang on to the ones that they've got, because that's part of the challenge for all employers as well. Here we are just literally 10 days into launching this particular event and already the interest is phenomenal. Uh, you mentioned this at the Rico Arena, a huge venue. I mean, how many people are we expecting? Well, we can accommodate uh, about 500 people at, at, uh, at uh, the uh, venue um, and already we've gone through 200 and that's only within a few days of announcing the dates. We're um, about to start to announce some of the speakers and some of the topics that we will be covering in detail. Uh, so I'm hoping that that will attract further um, participation. Um, and this, this is for people that are looking to, for answers. Um, and so I'm hoping that apart from understanding what our speakers are saying, they will also contribute and share their thoughts and views and their good experiences, because we really do have to confront this industry together, uh, this problem together as an industry. Um, this is not something the government's going to solve for us. This is something we've got to sort out ourselves. And moving forward to get people into the industry, obviously we're going to be talking about it at the uh, Driver Summit on the 12th of March, but literally trying to get people actually enticed I suppose, to become uh, a, a driver and actually go into the freight industry. It's easier said than done sometimes, isn't it? It is, and, and the driving does, professional driving doesn't have the greatest of reputations. So I'm hoping that by the end of the day that we're prepared to commit to a series of campaigns uh, and actions together, one of which I'm sure will be uh, selling the industry as a career prospect for uh, not just young people, uh, but for people who, of all ages that might be attracted to professional driving, because at the moment there's some um, good wages to be earned, um, and if you enjoy that kind of opportunity and that uh, independence that driving gives you, then it really is worth having a look at if you're thinking you're looking for a change in career. James, thank you very much indeed. As James mentioned, over 200 delegates have already signed up to attend the summit on the 12th of March at the RICO Arena, indicative of how this issue is actually a crisis for the freight industry. If you'd like to attend, find out more at the FTA website. It's fta.co.uk.